All right, y'all, eight ounces of goat cheese. Sorry, feta cheese, just kidding, right in the middle. I do have goat cheese as well. So I have this uh, garlic and herb goat cheese. So I got two of these little baby four ounce ones. So these gonna go right in here as well. These were real hard to open, y'all. It just took us like five minutes to try and open these. All right, so I have two of these. I have some olive oil on the bottom of my pan. And this is the bigger size pan than uh, the nine by 13. I always forget what size it is, but it's the one size up. All right. Next, we have two pints of, oh, we didn't take that one out. That one looks bad, of grape tomatoes. All right, I'm just gonna put these around. All right, and you know what? We're gonna put a little more olive oil right on top. Like so. Next, y'all, I have some basil, all right? Fresh basil, and we're just gonna take the leaves. We're gonna leave them whole, all right? And y'all gonna see why. So I'm gonna pick these leaves off, and we're using a lot of basil. I love basil, and basil loves me, I think. I think it loves me, why wouldn't it? I'm gonna put these leaves all over. So I think we're using, uh, let's see, I bought two of these basil containers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start growing some basil, y'all. Is basil easy to grow? I think it is, but I don't know. I kind of want to start growing some. All right, so we're just putting these basil leaves all over. All right, basil, basil. And you know what? We're going to use a few more. Oh, this, I got two bunches of basil, and they're both different. Look at how small these basil leaves are, but that's all right. Oh, these are real small. Can I use these little ones? I don't even know. All right, y'all. I guess I could have done this ahead of time, but I didn't, so guess what? Y'all have to watch me. No, just kidding. You don't have to. Y'all know I love you. I love you. All right. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take some Italian seasoning. I'm gonna put a good amount right on top. All right. And then I also have this Flavor God Garlic Lover seasoning, all right? I've used this before, y'all. Um, I think it tastes real good. So we're gonna put a good amount right on top. All right, that's great. So now we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes, and I'm gonna show y'all the next step. All right, y'all, so here we have our uh, little grape tomatoes with the basil, um, the goat cheese, and the feta cheese. So now, y'all, what we gonna do, and I had this in the oven at 350, probably about uh, 45 minutes or so. All right, so first we're just gonna give this a little mix. Mix everything together. All right. All right, y'all, so now what we gonna do That's perfect. It smells so good, y'all. I wish I could send the smell through the phone. All right, y'all, so now I have my uh, little KitchenAid immersion blender. So now we're gonna blend this up. <laughs> we gonna try. All right, y'all, so it don't have to be perfect, but um, yeah, I've made a mess too. I got splatters all over, all over my shirt. My friend Bridgie got sauce all over her, so <laughs> good thing she likes me, otherwise she'd be mad. All right, so now I'm just gonna give it a little mix, but it don't have to be perfectly smooth, but we just wanna break up those tomatoes and the basil. All right, I'm gonna give this a little mix. All right, perfect. All right, y'all, so our next step here, I cooked uh, one whole package of rigatoni. So um, let's see, I'm gonna put like half of it in and see what our sauce to pasta ratio is before I, before I continue. All right, we're gonna see, because we want, we want, um, we want like a good coating of sauce on our pasta. Let's see here, all right. I mean, let's see, I can't tell if we should add a little bit more. We're gonna add a little bit more. So let's say I'm probably gonna use about three quarters of the box of rigatoni, all right, in this dish. And again, this, this dish I have here is uh, the bigger than the nine by 13, but y'all can use whatever, whatever you'd like. I think it would have fit in a nine by 13. I think I was just, uh, I don't know, I was just nervous. Sometimes I'm like, I don't want it to spill over the edge. All right, so we're just gonna give this a good mix. Make sure all of our noodles are nice and coated. And you know what, y'all, if y'all want to add the rest of the, the whole box of pasta, you can, but I, I like a good amount of sauce on my pasta, so I, I think for me, this looks great. All right, so once you have that mixed pretty good, as good as you want, we have one more step, y'all. One to two more steps. Now here we have some uh, fresh shredded mozzarella. So we're gonna put a nice layer of mozzarella right on top. Y'all can use as much or as little as you'd like, all right? So again, in the sauce, it's just some... Uh, Grape tomatoes, grape or cherry, I forget. Um, two pints, 
It was uh, one eight ounce brick of feta cheese, two four ounce bricks of the garlic herb uh, goat cheese, olive oil, seasoning, basil. All right, so we're gonna do that and then uh, have some, some more of these basil leaves here. So yes, I know these are, these are just a pretty garnish, all right? So we're just putting these on top for our, our little garnish because I think it looks pretty. I know they're gonna cook when we melt the cheese, but that's all right. I like pretty food, y'all. All right, so we're putting this back in the oven at 350, about 10 minutes or so until the cheese melts, and then I can't wait to taste and show y'all this amazing, easy pasta. Hi, y'all. Here's Frankie Foo Foo. Look, he's, he's a little cranky. He was sleeping, taking his daytime nap, and I'm like, time to be in a movie. Everyone wants to see you, baby. Oh, little baby. Look at you. Y'all, I just love my cats so much. I'm sure y'all already know that, but they're just so cute. They warm my heart every day. Um, all right, so here is the pasta we made. Remember, we started with those uh, grape tomatoes, feta cheese, goat cheese, basil, olive oil, and then we like pure, we use the immersion blender to puree the sauce, and uh, yeah, then we put mozzarella cheese on it. So I'm gonna serve some up, y'all. Oh my goodness, look at that! That looks so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's still hot, but I'm excited. Oh my goodness, I've made this before. It's delicious, delicious. So, uh, but yeah, we're gonna try it anyways. All right, and I know y'all were telling me, someone said um, that y'all would like if I like taste it and then I give you my feedback. So I'm gonna do that for this one. I'm gonna start doing that. But honestly, y'all, sometimes I cut the video so fast because I burn my mouth. I'm not gonna lie, that's what happens. When it cuts real fast, it's because there's food in my mouth and I'm burning it. So uh, hopefully that won't happen here, but it might. All right, I'm gonna take a big bite. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh, this smells so good. Mmm. Mmm, 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 Y'all, this one is a winner. Like, this is a 10 out of 10. Y'all have to try this.